Okay, uh, this is to help you along with the BIOS for um, a specific type of standby mode. And uh, I'm just making this video because it's a little complicated and um, I was actually wrong. Uh, uh, when you reset to default, which your motherboard probably was at, um, it will put it into... Uh, it's called a suspend mode. That's what the BIOS calls the the sleep. And uh, by default, it puts it into sleep mode one. So um, I'm going to show you how to change that. So I got this computer. It's just freshly built, and I only noticed this because I went to go sleep it uh, when I reset to default, and it didn't shut the lights off. So I'm just going to show you. So. This is the monitor hooked up to that one, and when I go down and I hit sleep, the computer has a flashing light. The power light flashes, but it's probably exactly what you're experiencing where the lights stay on, and the lights are on the fans, so the fans stay on. Let me get a light on. So the fans... Uh, are on. So I'm going to show you how to have it sleep in the right sleep mode that you want. So I'm just going to wake the computer back up. Uh, and then also the keyboard, I'll show you how to, because it, it won't work in that mode either. So there's two things that you're going to want. So restart the computer. And to get into the BIOS, just have it restart or have it turn on from nothing. And you're going to want to hit the delete key. And that's going to get you into the BIOS. So just keep keep hitting the delete key and then this will pop up. So I'll try to put the camera so that it's just the screen. Okay. And there's no mouse so you're just going to use the arrow keys and that's all you get. So. You're going to go over one tab to advanced, go right on the arrow key, you're going to go to ACPI settings, so wake up event control, and you're going to hit enter on that. And this computer I just reset to default, so what you're going to want is ACPI sleep state. So right now it's on S1, so it only stops the CPU, which is the main power draw, uh, keeps everything else on, which is not what you want because if the power supply is on, it's going to put power to the fans and the lights. So you're going to hit enter on ACP1, what is it, ACPI sleep state? Yep. And then you're going to suspend to RAM. That's S3. You're going to hit enter on that. Now another thing I noticed is I couldn't wake it with the keyboard, <clears throat> and the keyboard's via USB. So that's uh, an option. So you're going to go down to USB device wake up, S3 to S4 and it's disabled by default. I don't know why. The best is S3 and with USB but anyway we're gonna manually change this. So USB device wake up from S3 and S4 hit enter on that and you're gonna to want to enable that and that's gonna make it so that you can wake the computer from a USB device such as a wireless keyboard or mouse or just a USB so um, once that's changed, you're going to hit escape on the keyboard. That'll bring you back to the page up. And then you're going to go over a couple times to save and exit. And you're going to go down to save changes and reset. And then just hit enter twice. It'll ask you with a pop up. <clears throat> um, so now it'll save the changes into the BIOS and restart the computer and it will go right back into its normal boot loop search for the SSD with Windows on it this will go by super quick and then it'll get into Windows and I'll show you that it will sleep the way you want it to sleep so we'll get into this and we'll go back down here and we'll hit sleep and then you'll see that the lights will shut off and the fans will shut off. I'll even show you how to customize this light 
in the front here because if you want to have this completely off, uh, it's literally just a power plug on the inside. Oh, let me get a let me get a light on that. Um, so all the fans are off. It's totally off. And um, totally optional if you want to take off that light. You're going to go to the motherboard. And then you're going to go down. Let me get a good light on this. You're going to go down to the bottom right corner of the motherboard. Let me focus on that. And then I'll zoom in. So there's all these plugs. The power LED plug is next to the speaker and this is totally optional by the way and then you're just going to unplug the green and white from the motherboard that's it that's just a power plug so the light will be off it'll be totally dark but you'll be able to start it back up with the keyboard so if i do this and you'll see it turn back on. And it'll wake from a sleep. Okay. That's uh, pretty much everything you need to know about that specific computer and motherboard and how to customize the sleep state. So this should be exactly what you need.